What up, YouTube? Topaz Jace here, and I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into the news. Then we're going to jump into this review for this Ryan Lewis and Michael Moore joint. Then we're going to jump into an article from DownLowPaz.com. But before then, listen to a brief instrumental from underground producer Direct Digital. So E-40 is coming out with another alcoholic beverage, man, but this time he's got it right, man. This just fits him 100%. It's going to be called the E-40 ounce, which is 40 ounce malt liquor, and it's going to be the classic glass bottle and shit. If that doesn't fit E-40's brand, I don't know what the fuck will. But anyway, on to today's review, and today's review is that Michael Moore, Ryan Lewis, featuring Kumo D, Melly Mel, and few others, man, that downtown. And you know what? I can already tell you this is going to get mad fucking play on the radio. This shit might even win some fucking awards and all that shit, man. Now, what this is, is an ode to 80s hip-hop, man. And you know what? I ain't mad at that, man, because, you know, Michael Moore, Ryan Lewis, they hot and shit right now. So, why not show that love to some of these old classic MCs and such? Now, overall, as a track, man, it's not really my cup of tea to keep it 100, but I listen to it, I'm like, okay, I know for a fact my uncles and my mom and my pops, they would love this shit, simply because it got that bounce from that era. And not to mention some of the bigger acts from that time in Kumo D and Melly Mel and such, man. But this is overall more co-opting of the hip-hop culture and shit, man. Because these types of joints, man, if we were to do them, we ain't getting the same amount of love that they gonna get off of this shit, man. This is gonna be phenomenal in the hands of Michael Moore and shit, but say in the hands of Kendrick Lamar J. Cole doing the exact same thing, not going to get the promotional play. Honestly, probably wouldn't even see the light of day because labels will come through and shut that shit down. Like, we don't need you to do that. We need you to make a club song and all that bullshit. While they get the freedom to do whatever the fuck they want. Like, look at the R&B game right now. Ain't nobody really doing soul like that except for white artists and shit, man. While all of our artists, they got to do hip-hop slash pop. Overall, I'm happy that they're showing some love here, man, but you have to look at this game and see, okay, this is something that we can't fucking do with our own fucking sound that we invented. Like, the classic sounds of ours, man, we never get to hold on to that shit. They take that Common shit. excuse that I constantly fucking hear. When you listen to these somewhat conscious albums and shit that's been coming out, and a lot of them haven't been that damn good. Like, some of them have been pretty straight, but a lot of them haven't been. Let me give you examples. To Pimp a Butterfly wasn't that good, man. But then you look at Talib Kweli's album, that shit was dope, but both of them was conscious. See, but here's the thing. Fans of these rappers that strap in these conscious style projects and shit, man, and they be subpar, they always want to pull that shit, well, you must have been expecting bangers and shit, man. That's not what you getting here. You getting substance. Like, who the fuck said that shit? Not motherfucking me, because I go into every project just wanting solid music. I don't care if it's a conscious, I don't care if it's super commercial, I don't care if it's soulful or b man, I don't give a fuck. See, I have liked songs from genres that I absolutely fucking hated and shit, because none of that shit matters, it's all about the finished fucking product, but yet people trying to make this fucking excuse, and you guys don't even know what the fuck you talking about, and you making yourself look like dumbasses, because I don't like this music, I must have been expecting something different. Nah, bruh, I just listened to the music, gathered an opinion on it, and didn't like that shit. And it's time for you motherfuckers to grow the fuck up. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.